Hi, my name is Cindy and this is my CSA restaurant review. do carry out at this restaurant but we went to Xi'an Gourmet House in the Jusco food court area thing and we got the spicy cumin lamb noodles like the Biang Biang handful of noodles which are like these like the really oh I'm about to spill it <laughs> these are like light bounces <laughs> so we got those like the spicy noodles and then we got spicy dry like dried Xi'an style eggplant Ooh, it looks so good. And then we got scallion pancakes. I already took a bite out of this one, but look how flaky and yummy it is. And then we got we got pumpkin millet congee. Yeah. So it's like kind of like rice porridge, except I want to spoil it. Yeah. It's like millet instead of rice, mm -hmm. but it's like rice soup with pumpkin. Very yummy. So first we're gonna be trying the noodles, the handful of noodles. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's Biang Biang or Biang Biang, but either way. Mm. They're so soft. Mm -hmm. I really like how like wide they are. Mm -hmm. Also how chewy they are. And I love the spices. And there's lots of veggies in here too. Mm -hmm. So that's really good for getting your veggies in because I know Georgia take vegetables. <laughs> Tastes like nothing. <laughs> Mm. Very yummy. 10 out of 10. And then let's try the Xi'an style eggplant. They look a bit like potatoes. I thought it was they kind of remind me of like yucca fries mm. or like potato wedges. Mm -hmm. mm. They're really, really soft on the inside. They're a lot drier than the eggplant usually is, but it's like really, honestly, I would like think these were fries a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're gonna tell me the name. And the spices on it are really good. It's mm -hmm. not too spicy, it's not too salty, but it's like perfect. It's a little sweet too. Mm hmm. <sighs> Those are very yummy. Spicy. spicy. And now I'm gonna be, I'll just try the scallion pancake even though I've already bit out of it. <laughs> oh, it looks like a little heart, but like, then, I mean, whoopsie. Like, I mean, it's your standard scallion pancake, very flaky, very crispy. And this would be really good with like soy sauce or sriracha, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, everything, 10 out of 10. I would like 100% eat it again. <laughs> that rounds a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go enjoy our food now, but bye! Okay, so we just finished our food, so now we're gonna do our overall rating for Xi'an Gourmet House. Okay, so the first question is, how many stars out of five do you give Xi'an Gourmet House? Gourmet house. <laughs> I would do five out of five. I feel like a lot of people just say that to say it, but honestly, the food was really, really good, and I could see myself coming here a lot to get, like, all their dishes in the future. And what is your COVID safety rating? I would say also five out of five, just because they don't even do, like, dine-in right now, so I'm like, how much more safe can you get than that? And they also had like a plexiglass in front of the register and the lady, when she was packing up our food and like handing it to us, she had her mask on at all times and she had like a pair of gloves on too. 
what would you say your overall experience was? I would say, I mean, it was pretty good. There was not much to it. The lady was really, really nice at the register, so their customer service is obviously very good. And the food was done pretty quickly, but I guess in terms of experience, we didn't really get to sit in that much, but the weather's pretty nice today, so I had a nice experience eating my food in the car. And would you recommend it to your friends? 100%. I feel like there's a lot of options there, and I have some like vegetarian friends too, and so I think they have a lot of vegetarian friendly options but also they have a wide variety of food for like anyone so they have like desserts like pumpkin cake things or like scallion pancakes for those who don't really want to like try crazy new foods but there's also like a lot of Xi'an style food if you haven't tried that before or like their spicy noodles if you're into that. And what were the memorable dishes? I think my most memorable dish today would definitely be the dried eggplant because just because I really like the noodles and everything else as well but that's all stuff that I've like tried before and the eggplant was something that was like completely like I've never tried it before and I didn't expect it to be the way it was at all I thought it was just gonna be like an eggplant dish but it was actually really yummy it was almost like fries and it was like spicy and like a little bit sweet and it was just really good and I can definitely see myself getting it in the future as like a snack. Thank you for watching this restaurant review! Dropping it. Oh, you can see through my mouth. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh.